Hello, Science for Dummies. Let's talk about systematic and random errors. No matter how careful you might be in performing experiments, mistakes can still be committed. This is common knowledge and even the brightest and the best scientists always take this to mind. These errors can be classified as systematic or random by nature. Systematic errors are the ones that arise from either of the following things. Worn out equipment, incorrectly calibrated instruments, flawed procedures, or even human error. Systematic errors can be consistently reproduced because they are tied to the equipment used and the procedures or methods of the experiment. For instance, if you're using a worn out tape measure that was stretched by let's say, 2 centimeters, it will consistently produce measurements that are off by 2 centimeters. The same goes for instruments which are not adjusted to their correct settings. Flaws in the experiment's design, as well as the execution of the procedures, can cause systematic errors too. Random errors are exactly what they are. Random. These types of errors are uncontrollable, unpredictable, and unreproducible. They may come from any given factor in the environment. Systematic errors can be reduced or nearly eliminated by making sure that the equipment you use are well maintained and the procedures of the experiment are sound. Random errors, on the other hand, are unavoidable. One way of reducing the effects of random errors in experiments is to make multiple trials or measurements so that the mean value will be closer to the true value. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later.